Before we get started on the next step, we'd like to take a little more time basically to show you a few more tools. Um, this tool, which we'll use in a second, is the acetylene torch in my left hand. In my right hand is a striker. So we can use the striker to start the torch uh, when we need to use it. Uh, moving down here, we've got two tools that we actually use um, in the soldering process. The first one here is a stand that we can use to solder flat pieces together in the case of uh, perhaps a keychain or a pendant of some sort. The clamp here, which we open by pressing this area right here, this can be used for holding different pieces of metal and it works especially well for uh, making rings. Down here we've got some other tools. We have tweezers which we can use to pick up metal pieces, especially when they're hot. We've got two picks which we can use. Uh, they're heat resistant on the handle so we can push pieces around uh, while we have the flame on them. We have a pair of needle nose pliers which we can use to bend or shape the metal. We've got our soft hammer again and this is called a ring mandrel which we can use to not only size the rings, we've got the ring sizes here, but we can also use it to basically shape our rings into a round shape. Next we're going to show how to bend your piece of metal using the ring mandrel into that round shape to prepare it to solder the two ends together. So what we can do just holding on to the ring mandrel and using your metal, uh, the metal when it's this thin we typically can start the bending process just using our thumbs. So what we can do is place the metal on that surface and then slowly start to bend the metal around the ring mandrel. Now once we've used the ring mandrel to shape the bottom part of our ring, you'll notice we have two open pieces. Uh, the two open pieces of the metal are pointing up. The key right now is not so much to get a round shape, but now we need to get these end pieces facing each other um, totally so that we're ready to solder. So using the needle nose pliers, we're going to slowly start to bend these pieces down flat. The key is to get them completely together and flat, like this, and then so that they're completely flush with no light shining through. Once we get the ring set up so that we have the top pieces together, the next step is to connect them uh, using the soldering process. So for rings we're going to use this clamp that we talked about earlier. So pressing these two ends together, we're going to open it up so that the ring actually goes inside these two pieces with the seam side facing up. So we want to try to position it that it, so that it's nice and flat. We can also turn this part of the base of the stand so that we get this nice and flat, basically parallel to the, uh, to the ground or to the counter here. Next, using one of these picks, we're going to use what's called flux. Okay, this flux, we're going to put a small amount using the pick onto the seam. So next, I'll hold the piece of metal, and slowly I want to spread this out on the seam area. What this is going to do is a couple things. Uh, clean the metal a little bit as the soldering process is happening, but then also help the solder to melt. Once I have that, next I can take a small little square of solder using the pick, or we can use tweezers which we have down here, we're going to place that piece of solder right on the seam, just like that. 